Hey everybody, how's it going? Icy Cat here, and today we're going to be talking about ongoing concerns regarding hit registration. Although it's been a problem for a while now in Siege, the dev team just acknowledged that there was a continuing issue that had just come up in the last patch, and announced what they would be doing about that going forward. So if it seems like the shots you've been lining up haven't been landing, there might be a little something to that. So today on the Rainbow Six subreddit, the community manager put up the following information. He said, regarding the deployment of 2.2.1, which was the last update that we all got that rolled out the one-step matchmaking for everyone, they launched an investigation to understand the increase of concerns and issues being reported by the community regarding hit registration problems. They report that they've been seeing a slight increase of shots being rejected by the server, and as a result, they are rolling out a server-side fix to address this slight increase that they've noticed. They say that this is going to be the first of a series of tweaks and changes, so you may not necessarily notice anything big happening right away, and that this will be a series of hot fixes and updates and things like that over time. They want to address that the hot fix they're rolling out today won't fix all of the hit registration issues on its own. And they say that there's still going to be a small amount of shots that might get rejected or may appear as though they're rejected. Regarding appearance of hit rejection, there are many factors. They say the biggest one is related to kill cam misalignment and they're working hard to make sure the kill cams are more accurate, but at the moment they're not always reliable. They say that hit registration quality has been an ongoing priority for the development team and they monitor it closely. They do acknowledge that sometimes the community will say that there's hit registration issues, but they're not seeing that on their end and what it actually winds up being sometimes is other factors such as latency, kill cam accuracy, bugs, and other camera alignment issues. So while sometimes hit registration issues are the server actually rejecting the shot as being valid, there are sometimes other factors that go into it, they say. They go on to acknowledge that they'll have another update in the coming weeks on where they are with the development of the new peer-to-peer -peer feature removal, new servers, and how they're planning on addressing high ping issues. Later on, the community manager does kind of paraphrase and summarize everything he just said by saying that essentially what happened was the last patch kind of messed things up with hit registration. They deployed a fix today to address it. It isn't perfect yet, but we are still working on it. So that's sort of the official acknowledgement about what's going on with hit registration this season. Now, I've seen lots of video clips from people in the community showing how they have shots lined up. The crosshairs are right on the target and the shots are not registering. This is not simply a case of a kill cam misalignment where the kill camera is playing back and it just looks like it's off. This is from the player's perspective. They are the ones doing the shooting. They have this recorded video clip. Their crosshairs are right on the target and you can see it is just not registering as a hit. So this is more than just like a little problem or a very slight instance where they kind of say that these things happen once in a while. I've definitely seen this when I'm playing. None of the footage that I'm sharing with you today shows any of that as an example because when I was playing in the last night, or two it wasn't necessarily coming up but i've definitely seen it over the course of like the last several weeks this is a very real and present problem going on right now and for those of you that have thought that maybe that was happening or weren't sure what was going on they have confirmed that this is a real issue happening right now now of course the concept of operation health is that we are taking a season off to address the issues in the game that come up that are like this but it is a bit disheartening that the first major patch of Operation Health that introduced the one-step matchmaking, which was a great addition to the game, wound up breaking hit registration. Not entirely, but enough that it had a noticeable impact on the community. And unfortunately, there is sort of this ebb and flow where we'll get a major update and then something might wind up being broken as a result of this new patch that happened. This is pretty hard because it winds up eroding the trust that the community has in the development team to be able to provide a stable gameplay experience that gives them consistent and reliable feedback during play. On the other hand, it's a tricky thing to do for the development team because it's been described before in interviews with the dev team that changing live updates to a game that's in play in this kind of magnitude that they're doing is sort of like changing the wheels on a car while it's driving. There's a lot of different pieces that are kind of going hand in hand and they're moving all together and then you're changing some of them out and sometimes things wind up getting misaligned when that happens. Now, you can point to other games that wind up having successful patch rollouts, and that's certainly true. And even on Rainbow Six, not every patch winds up breaking something. Some do, some don't, some go very smoothly. But hit registration is something of an ongoing problem. I actually did a video on the problem with hit registration several months back, and it's gone up and down kind of ever since then. It did seem to get better for a while, and now it seems to be back. 
But regardless of whatever the issue is, it's definitely something that as a player is very frustrating to experience. So on one hand, I have to give a lot of props to Ubisoft for coming out and saying, hey, there's a problem, we're seeing it too, here's kind of what we're doing about it, and we'll be continuing to do something about it going forward. Another thing that's a little confusing with Operation Health is there's no clear timeline of when some of the other changes are coming. For instance, they've said that they've got all new servers, and we're going to be getting an all new, faster 60 tick rate server setup. But all we know is it's coming out sometime during the course of Operation Health. We don't know if it's already been implemented or when it will be implemented. Clearly, it hasn't yet. They've just projected it will be over the course of this three month period. So we don't really know when that will take effect. So will the new servers help? Probably. Will the faster 60 tick rate help? That will probably be beneficial as well. Another part of kind of what makes this a little bit hard to deal with from the community's perspective too, is that we were getting regular and consistent content changes to the game. We would have something to refresh the gameplay experience. And Operation Health hasn't really done that for us. It's wound up making Velvet Shell feel like it's going to last for a six month period instead of a three month period. And so when something gets broken, it stands out a lot more. Of course, not having your shot line up in the first place is going to stand out a lot more because that's a problem in and of itself. But any issues that come out during this time are going to feel bigger because there's nothing else happening in the game. One Step Matchmaking did come out and that was great, but it's just a smoother way of getting a game going. It's not like a new map or a new operator or a new gameplay mechanic or something like that. It's just how you get into your next match. And it is a big improvement to the game, but it is somewhat behind the scenes. It's something that you just try to queue up your next match and you're kind of not paying a whole lot of attention to it. Now, when Alpha Packs come out in the next month or so, That'll probably help fill some of the gap. But in the meantime, if there's nothing happening in the game, any problems that do crop up just feel that much bigger. So what do you guys think? Have you been noticing hit registration affecting your game? Have you been losing matches because of it? Or have you not really seen it pop up all that often? Let me know down in the comments below, or you can share with me over at IcyCat25 on either Facebook or Twitter. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. And thanks a lot for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.